Late last night, the Eastwood Troopers departing by bus under the cover of darkness and route for DFW to open the season at South Lake Carroll for the second year in a row. Kickoff on Friday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Don't count the troop out. They've got an experienced squad. We will see what happens. The Troopers practice in Dallas Fort Worth today, but here in El Paso, the Texas high school football season kicked off in style with the five games featuring El Paso teams on opening night. The headliner coming is no surprise. Pebble Hills hosting Canatio in a a battle between two of El Paso's top teams from a season ago. The Eagles coming off two straight sweet 16s, but they lost LJ Martin, the Spartans, the favorite to dominate the Sun City with UTEP commit Gael Ochoa at quarterback and tons of talented skill players. Second quarter, the Spartans up 14 to 7. Zarian Quarles trucks the defender, gets into the end zone. They were up 21 to 7 at the break. Fourth quarter, the Spartans up a touchdown. Bot snap by Conatiel doesn't matter. Jeremiah Knox recovers and saves the day. Conatiel ties the game at 21 apiece after the extra point. 21 seconds to go. Ochoa driving. How about the catch from Marcus Torres? The big play there to get him in field goal range. They clock it. The Spartans with a couple of seconds left. And Aaron Ortega set up from 27 yards out. And he sneaks it in the pylon to win it. Pebble Hill is your victors. 24 to 21 to open the season. Here's head coach Mark Torres and the hero after the win. The big play were the three defensive plays that gave us a chance to do that. Setting them up to get a punt, saving our timeouts, and then something that we work on. So to be able to win a game like that early in the year, that's important. I wasn't worried about the what I missed, last two kicks, because Coach taught me just worry about the now. And I knew I knew I was gonna make it. I knew, because coach taught me well. He knew it, snuck it in there, love it. Pebble Hills will play Del Valle next week. Canatillo hosts Coronado. Up north in Las Cruces, America is opening the Noe Robles era with a clash with Las Cruces High, which lost its opener last Friday to Volcano Vista. The Bulldogs' first drive looking pretty good. Gunnar Guardiola to Nate Libby on third down right into your living room. Six to nothing dogs after the touchdown ensuing America's drive. This kid is just a sophomore. Cameron Johnson. Hey, Ma, what's good? 57 yards spring for six. How about that? It's six to six. Let's go second quarter now. 16 to nine. Las Cruces in front. And this is where the Trailblazers start to cook. Mark Moore to Omarion Dumas. Yep, that's Aaron's little brother. Fantastic snag. Tie game there after a Cruces front. Brian Promessi right through the defense. The Blazers go in front for good right there. They cruise for the 44-19 victory. They're 1-0 under Noe Robles. Let's go to the beautiful R.R. Jones Stadium. Andy Morgan was there. I knew this was going to be his establisher shot. Gadsden won last week at Ruidoso versus Ruidoso. First half looking good. Adrian Munoz calling his own number to put the Panthers up 14-6. The Tigers defense, though, would rally. Munoz going to have his pass intercepted right here. El Paso High was able to cut the deficit to just two points at the break my man rumbling fumbling stumbling tackled down but let's go third quarter now alfredo andrade with the touchdown run here as gadsden will get the 21 14 win we'll have to look at the record books and find out the last time the panthers were 2 and 0. meanwhile jefferson playing host to horizon tonight the scorpions looking for their first win since 2021 second quarter jess milo gardea gets swarmed in his own territory by the horizon defense that would force the punts and then Horizons, Abraham Barraza running through the entire Silver Foxes defense, making them look like a couple of Silver Foxes. I don't have a, that problem, fortunately. Touchdown for Horizon. Then it'll be Rodriguez on the bad snap, scrambling in for the two-point conversion. The Scorpions win it 15 to nothing. Their first win in two years, first of the Dwan Smith era. Congratulations to them. Let's go to the Permian Basin. Clint playing a neutral site game in Andrews where uh, Wichita Falls Hershey. Daniel Ponce going to reach the sticks here for the first down for the Clint Lions. But unfortunately for them, it did not go their way. How about Jamel McFalls checking down to Corby Wingfield. See you later. Nope, can't tackle him. Also, you struggles touchdown for Hershey Clint loses its opener tonight 34 to nothing tomorrow is the first night of the Borderlands most in-depth high school football wrap-up show nine overtime tune in for the season premiere of 9 OT at 10 15 on August 25th with myself Sam Guzman Ed Stansbury Jason Flores and Andy Morgan